Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you kind of the middle of the road uh, video of an A&E three slot payphone. It's a really cool telephone and this is Ron's telephone. Now we did an initial checkout video of this telephone. We kind of showed some of the problems. I, I don't. I think Ron said this telephone doesn't dial out. Uh, there was no informational card when he sent it in, so I'm kind of just going by what I think some of the emails said. But anyway, this uh, telephone had a line cord that was just hanging out of the back. And uh, when a lot of these telephones got converted, a lot of people would. Uh, just throw a uh, line cord out the back through the hole in the center back here and that's not the way we do things here at this shop uh, I install modular ports so we've got a modular port installed and Ron can simply plug any kind of a line cord he wants into it now any length any color and uh, that just gives him a lot of different options and you don't have a tacky cord hanging out of the back of it and so uh, a couple of the other issues were with this telephone is uh, there was no vault key and the vault box had never been taken uh, off of the backboard before and you know if it's if it's been taken off before you know if somebody took out the screws from the inside because you got some screws on the inside that keeps you from getting this box off if you don't have the key and in this case the screws had never been removed but there's a little trick to getting uh, this this box off uh, the backboard and so if you don't know the trick you're just not going to get it open um, but anyway we got the telephone open and there is no uh, there was a vault lock and it was in really good shape it had never been messed with uh, never been played with and that's exactly how I like to get them so we removed that on the earlier video and we just set it aside because basically uh, I was waiting on a key and now I have my key uh, it came the other day and uh, so what I did was I took this lock apart and I keyed it to our uh, 10L key that we got here so this key wasn't to this lock I keyed these two together so now we have a, a nice key and lock combination here and these 10L locks and keys are very hard to get a hold of so basically if you have a lock you got to get a key to it and you got to key them together and uh, there's a little bit of work involved in that uh, there's some guy on the internet he's pretty proud of his work I think he's charging uh, 40 bucks or more an hour or was it 80 I don't know it was some crazy price and uh, and I thought that's you know that's eh, a little little too much but uh, you know it's not simple but uh, it's doable and we do it all the time but uh, I don't charge forty dollars an hour for it you know it's just something that comes along with the service we do what we have to do because we want to try to get these um, these telephones to have a key and a lock if possible so you know every situation is a little different but now we've got a, a working vault door uh, and lock and key and everything like that so the other issue with this telephone was uh, the body lock which is a 29s was really just ravished it was tore up um, whoever uh, beat on this lock really didn't know what they were doing they actually um, if you look right here you're gonna see a post right here and a post right here well they they took the uh, rim of the post off on the wrong end and uh, here's our two brass posts now some of these locks will have steel posts in them some of them will have brass I've seen them with both but uh, here's our brass post and they cut them off I had to I had to just cut them off because they they took the uh, the edging and cut them uh, off the wrong end of this and you have to have what these really are are mounts and the mounts have to be coming out of the back side of it and if they're not coming out of the back side of it uh, these are just some extra key sweeps I have here you can't put your key sweeps on 
if you don't have your post. So when they cut them off the wrong side, trying to, you know, they were stuck on the, uh, the outside front of this uh, lock, you can't put the sweeps on if they're on the wrong side. So they just tore the lock basically all up. The lock was gutted when we got it. The only thing it had was, you know, your key entry here, and you had the deadbolt. And that was all there was. And um, even Ron had said something about, you know, I, I work on these every day, and I couldn't hardly get this thing open. You know, this is not the key that goes to this lock. It's been worked on. And uh, it's been ground on. It's been worked on. But this lock and key are keyed together now. Um, everything was missing out of here. I put new key sweeps in here and uh, re-keyed this. So this, this key goes to this lock. And you're, you're not going to just walk up to this lock and open it with anything now. Before you could. They just happened to have, they were using this key. But you could hardly get the, the lock open. Um, I work on this stuff every day, and I couldn't get I couldn't get it open. And then, like the last couple minutes, I was messing with it, it just happened to open on me. But even Ron said it was really finicky. Well, that's not the case any longer. It opens nice and easy, and it closes. And this is the key to the lock now. So you're not going to just stick anything in there and open it up. And I'll show you why. Because I'm going to take it apart here. Uh, I still have some work to do to this lock. It was really beat up. They drilled a hole in it right here. And, uh, I, I, you know, they just pretty much trashed the lock is what they did to it. But we're going to try to get it open here. I'm going to show it to you real quick. The body locks are not as technical inside as the vault locks. The vault locks are a little more technical. Uh, they have a, a little more inside to them than the body locks. But you're not going to just open this body lock uh, simply. I mean, you know, guys would try to beat these pay phones, and they'd have to beat them and beat them and beat them, you know, just to get them open. So even though there's not as much to the body lock here, um, they're still very difficult to get into. And I think that's why people who don't work on this stuff every day, they kind of trash them when they try to get into them. And I'm going to have to straighten this one out even a little more because I've worked on the body and the, uh, and the front of the lock and everything else. It's just all been bent out of proportion. So anyway, now what we have here is the only thing that was here was the key entry and uh, the deadbolt. These sweeps here were were gone. They they were trashed. I mean, there was nothing in there. So uh, and so now we have some new stands here, some new uh, post, and uh, that's what your key swipe rides on right here through the key swipe hole. So it basically goes on like this. And these swipes are other swipes. They're not to this lock. They could be. I could put them in there if I wanted to. But uh, they require that post. You have to, it has to ride on that post. And so, and then the spring gets, uh, the loaded spring gets put on this post. So in a sense, you kind of just set it into place and then put your spring on it. Okay? But the fact is, is they took them all out. And that's what was messing up the lock. The lock was uh, moving all around on the inside, and it was uh, binding up. And uh, sometimes you could get it open, sometimes you couldn't. So they, you know, they just had it all, it was trashed, basically, is what it comes down to. You can see this big hole they knocked into the lock. It's not going to hurt anything, but I'm not sure what they were up to because that's not how you take them apart. Uh, that's just not how it's done. So anyway, there will be some, some more uh, work to this lock because I want to get it even uh, back more into shape than it is right now. But we'll do all that. It'll all get closed up and uh, reinstall it. And uh, now Ron will have a key here to his body also. So that's cool. 
you know uh, I don't think most uh, shops would do that they'd say okay it opens with anything yeah it's a little finicky but so what well you know sometimes you just have to go the extra mile uh, we had a lock we had a key why not key the lock to the key you know that's just the way it is and so uh, that's taken care of now so this is a middle of the road video it's kind of more about locks and keys than it is anything else but uh, it gives you a good look at a three slot payphone kind of shows you the locks that they have in them a 10L for the uh, for the vault and uh, a 29S for the uh, body and we've got him locks straightened out now and uh, Ron should be pretty happy about that because he can lock this payphone up and and not have to worry about it anymore so we'll uh, do another checkout video of this phone as far you know the farther we get along with it we'll probably do a a final checkout video I have to go through the rotary I'm not sure that that even works yet, plus I want to go through the rotary, rotary while it's in the shop, uh, make sure it's oiled, adjusted, and cleaned. Uh, maybe it wasn't working at all, I don't know. We'll have to get into that and find out. We need to look at the wiring also, because if the rotary's not working, it might have something to do with the wiring. Got a lot of loose wires here that were just hanging here when I when I uh, received the phone. So it's just one of those things we're going to have to get into and and look at. Uh, the hook switch is uh, is kind of, if you look at that, you'll see that it's it's off kilter. There's something going on. It's, it's, it's not right. So that's got to be repaired. But I wanted to, I wanted to get this modular line port in first and then I wanted to take care of these locks. And uh, now that that's straightened out, uh, we're going to move forward into uh, the rest of the repair. But it's a really cool three-slot uh, pay phone. It's an A and E, and uh, these are great phones. And um, Ron's got a very cool telephone here. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1 hyphen telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.